Database migrations is something that you need to pay attention when building a microservices approach application. Luckily for us out there, there are many tools that help us to make the migrations as smoothly and easy as possible. One of those tools is Flyway. Today, I will teach you how to use Flyway in a Quarkus service. We just need to add an extension and then configure some properties on the application properties file and we can start building our SQLs that will change our schemas when we deploy the service to the Kubernetes cluster. As everything else, things with Quarkus get simpler. To add a flyaway dependence to the project is pretty simple. Quarkus has already a flyaway extension. So in order to set up the flyaway migration to your Quarkus service, you just need three steps. The first one is uh, to add the extension to the project. Since I am using the user service, that is a Quarkus project that I created in my last video, uh, I am just calling the add extension from the Quarkus Maven plugin, as you can see here. And I am passing the extension flyway as argument. What it will do is to install the Quarkus flyway extension to the project. Now we can go to the application properties to the next step. Here we can first delete this line since now we are handling the database changes with Flyway. There is a configuration that we need to add here. Quarkus Flyway migrate at start is equal to true. So basically what I am saying here is every time that I deploy this service, I want to check if there is some migration to do on my database. And if yes, I want to do this. The third step is to add the SQL files that will actually do the change on the database. So for that, we need to create a directory here, db slash migration. And uh, a, here we can create a SQL file, version 1.0.0, um, we can call a start SQL file. I want to create the SQL file that will create the user table. So user, uh, we have ID, email, and status. Okay, uh, let's create it. Uh, create, create table. Uh, user, we need to use the quotes because uh, Postgres has a keyword uh, that is user, so we need to put in between quotes in order to create a table with his name. And uh, the fields are ID, bar star, not no primary key. Uh, the email, bar star, not no uh, unique. And the status, that is a bar star, not no defaults to active. Okay, our table that has a ID, email, and status with a primary key and a unique key. We can move forward and deploy it to see what happens. Okay, Quarks has deployed it, so we can take a look here. Uh, the current version of the schema public is empty, so we are migrating to the version 1, and the migration was successfully applied. So we can move forward to Postman to test the application. So I have here a post request slash user uh, sending a email wesley.fichter.modscript.com uh, with the status active. Let's try to insert that. And we got the 201 created with the ID that we uh, that it's generated from the universal unique ID uh, generator. Uh, we can try to add another email and inactive it again 201 and if I try to add the same mail twice I will get a database error because we have that unique so now let's say that we want to add the name of the user to the table 
so it will be another string uh, that is a column okay and here instead of changing this file we need to create a new version uh, we can call it 2.0.0.name um, and here we can alter table uh, user between quotes add column name var char okay then we can go to postman try change it to jmail active and the name will be wisely fister i can send that it will take some seconds it's redeploying and we have the 200 here we can take a look on the log and we migrating schema public to version 2 name apply it uh, successfully uh, we can try to get the status active and to see what happens and we have an error here uh, that is saying that enable, enable to serialize property name from modus create user since we add the name later we already have some records on the database that has name as new so we need to say to the code to the kotlin code that name can be new and its initial value is new and we can take out the late init var here okay uh, let's see if now it will works and we have the 200 status with the active and the both uh, active users that I have on my, my database. Flyway is an amazing tool. Whether you use that inside your service or as an external tool in your delivery pipeline. The most important here is to have a tool that help you to do a smoothly migration in your database without impacting the users. And that's it for today's video, but as always, Leave a comment on this video if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you for watching it.